The majority of families, no matter how they try to cover things up, have some level of dysfunction. And if you are a person who is seeking their own way in life, then part of how you can help yourself is to be more of a leader and less of a follower in relationship to your family, which is not easy. Now, the various forms of dysfunction that occur in families could be uh, some kind of controlling behavior or aloofness, emotional coldness, uh, some problems with addictions, uh, drugs, alcohol, workaholism. And it could be that there's passive aggressive energy or, you know, some form of just not. Uh, not representing a whole emotionally healing, contactful kind of person that we would want to have in our um, parents or guardians. So, if you are like many, 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 many people, I'd say the majority of people, you may feel some pressure to enable the dysfunction, meaning that you should work around it talk around it, fit in, not challenge anything, and just kind of play along. But I really believe that if we do this, if we are enabling of dysfunction in the family, then we're not going to really attract the kind of experiences in life that we really deserve. Because the people that we'll meet, the relationships that we'll have, these kinds of things that come into our life are less likely to be fulfilling because they're going to be reflective of the lessons that we still need. And the only way evolution can really occur is if we go beyond where we started. And a lot of times where we started in our family was about limitations that are in place for the egos of those who are in control and power, which is the parents. Now, if you have wonderful, understanding, you know, aware, enlightened parents, that's great. But if you're like the majority of people who don't, then you have to stop enabling behavior. You have to challenge the behavior, perhaps at a distance, if it is not safe to do it in person, and let go if they cannot handle your truth about what you see because our species is capable of such incredible evolution you know we can do such great things but we won't move forward as quickly when a lot of people just try to fit in and there's a lot of pressure to fit in you know a lot of people say you can only count on your family well it depends on your family if they're not trustworthy people if they're not reliable people then that's simply not true but what is true is that a lot of people on, <clears throat> on the level of the spirit's journey are going to be born into situations that reflect their own unresolved karma. And so it's not always going to be about a nourishing, comfortable environment so much as mirroring that helps you to understand yourself and what you have to transcend and perhaps what you bring into this life from other lives and so forth and becoming more conscious is what it's about so if you play along with negative behavior then you're also staying stuck in your own uh, personal evolution so it's not just about helping other people move forward it's about you embracing the challenges that you see around you and recognizing that if something feels off then you could do what a lot of people do which is they just kind of play along and they'll talk about the weather and they'll you know keep conversations safe and and then not really feel fulfilled in those connections and that's as far as it goes or you could start speaking your truth whatever your truth is and I believe that speaking your truth and living within your truth really 
leads to miraculous events. Things will happen so much easier in your life when you are willing to be honest and express yourself forthrightly, even if it upsets people. Because if you go on just enabling in order to fit in, then this is the kind of life you can expect to have. You know, you can expect to have uh, that kind of community and attract those kind of friendships and just, you know, go on just trying to step around what you see and talk around what you feel. And it's not a very interesting way to live. So be a leader and demonstrate a new way of being to any of the people that are in your life you can demonstrate authenticity and if they want to join in that's great and if they don't if they want to stay stuck then they're probably weighting you down so don't expect too much from those relationships don't expect them to be a source of nourishment healing and growth because most likely they can't be if people are not on the path of healing and growth and working on their stuff and becoming more aware and just you know all the good stuff that goes along with the personal growth spiritual growth journey then you have to accept that that is their choice and it's sad and you may need to grieve that they're not going to come along but if need be they'll get another life you know if they don't get it in this life they'll get another life and we'll continue on until they heal.